first thing we need to do is install this app called Gal. To do that, we're going to the App Store and search for it and click on this download. Once we have installed the app, we need to go to the settings and tap on general, scroll down and tap on keyboard, go to keyboards at the top, add new keyboard. It should be in the third party keyboards list right here, but mine's not there because I've already installed it and it's right here. Now that we have installed the keyboard, we're gonna tap and hold on this globe button at the bottom left. You can also just tap on it and it will switch through the keyboards that you have. I'm just gonna hold on it and select Al. Now I'm gonna tell you and show you a few things that will make your typing experience faster and also how to use the keyboard in general. On the right side, you can change the theme of the keyboard by selecting the different colors, different themes. The button in the middle, I have no idea what that does, honestly. It just gives you an empty space. I don't know what that's for. This gives you the option to type with the English keyboard, which I think is faster. Let me give you an example. So, ah, is right here. B, 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 so, B, la. If I wanted to type Ethiopia, I would do E, E, T, E, T. I might have to hold and select T, Yo. Uh, that's P. Double tap and hold, and that will give me the second letter that is under P, which the first one is P, and the next one is P. Ethiopia. Yeah. All right, so that was just a quick demo. Now let's go to the settings of this app by tapping on this button on the left. And here, again, it gives you the option to select different themes. It also has a word prediction option, which it works pretty good. So we're gonna leave that on. Space with two points. What that does is, let me turn it on and demonstrate for you. If I go back to notes and do space, as you can see, the spaces are separated by two points. That's what it means. This is without that setting on and this is with that setting on. So I don't really like it, so I'm going to turn it off. Now let's go back to the notes app and let me show you a few more things. So those options that we just had right here, they don't come up for some reason for me when I'm down in the middle of the page specifically on the notes app so to bring them up what i have to do is click on done then tap at the top of the page and this will come up again the caps lock button works as a like a shift button so under s as you can see there are two letters there's s and there's sh s is the one that's in the front right now so if you tap on that s s is going to be the one that's being typed out if you wanted to access the letter that's behind s which is sh you can double tap and chu, she, sha, she, and she. Most of them will come up in the orange text, but not all of them. So if you want to have access to all of them, double tap and hold. And now we have access to all of them. You have she, shu, she, sha, she, she, shu. Um, same thing here with na and nye. Double tap and nye will come up. Na is in the front. And another way to do this would be Tap on the shift button and shell will come up to the front and all the other letters that were behind will come up to the front. Now I can tap and hold and I have access to she. If it was Z and Z, same thing here, I have access to Z now. Another option on here that you might not need to use is the numbers. These are the Amharic numbers right here. For the word prediction to work, we need to give the app full access to our system and to do that we would need to go back to settings keyboard keyboards and select Al and turn on allow full access now we can go back to the notes app and test it out but it does not work in the notes app for some reason so let's go to YouTube because I know it works on YouTube and other apps uh, to Ethiopia Let's do Shinkwurt. Sh, 
cool. Shingles right there. Let's do America. Mer oh, okay, there it is. America. Let's do Mexico. Me Mexico, there it is. And that is how you get an Amhara keyboard on your phone. Let me know if you have any questions. That's it for this video.